Hey guys, welcome back. It's your brother in Christ, Weston. Thanks for joining me today. So today we're going to be talking about some aliens. Let's get into it. So the article actually comes out of Infowars, but I found uh, an article yesterday as well coming from Citizen Free Press. So when I I have multiple articles that I or new sites that I go to, one is called Citizen Free Press or CFP or just look it up, and it has a whole bunch of news articles, right? I don't care what side you're on. I'm just using stuff to find uh, about what's going on in the world that I may miss. And um, this was already updated, but the when I was looking at it, so just a laundry list of things, and it show, it's just like line by line. It's just a white page with literally link, 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 link. That's all it is. One of them said, non-human biological pilots on UFOs. And I was like, what? I clicked it, and it took me to a Twitter, a tweet. And I was like, okay. And then when I did that, I uh, hopped over to InfoWars, and InfoWars had some information on this as well. Uh, and I, I think it's actually the same hearing, but two different people talking. So what we're going to do is I'm going to record these videos, and you're going to watch them with me, and we're just going to listen to them. And, uh, and yeah, make sure I got the, the audio up here, and I got everything ready. Yeah, we're doing this live as I'm doing this. I'm not editing any of this out. Uh, where is it at? Okay, right there, right there. Okay, uh, okay hey, here, here we go intelligence extraterrestrials something i can't discuss in public setting um okay i can't ask when you think this occurred <laughs> um, if you believe we have crashed craft uh stated earlier do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft as i've stated publicly already in my news nation interview uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries yeah um were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. It's a public setting, by the way. Documentary evidence is video, photos, eyewitness. Like, how would that be determined? The specific documentation I would have to talk to you and skip about. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, okay. So, and, and you may or may not be able to answer my last question, and maybe we get into a skiff at the next hearing that we have, but who in the government either, what agency, sub-agency, what contractors, who should be called into the next hearing about UAPs, either in a public setting or even in a private setting? And, and you probably can't name names, but what agencies or organizations, contractors, et cetera, do we need to call in to get these questions answered, whether it's about funding, what programs are happening, and what's out there? I can give you a specific cooperative and hostile witness list of specific individuals uh, that were in those. And, and how soon can we get that list? I'm happy to provide that to you after the hearing. Super. Thank you. And I yield back. This is, this is real life. Non-human bi non biological pilots in a, in a public setting. I think that guy that was sitting like this, he had the mustache. I don't know if you saw him. Um, we did a video on him as well where he was a journalist looking at ufos this is real okay aliens are not real they are fallen angels and if at at least at minimum at minimum they are they are demons for sure this is a guarantee i am telling you right now the bible's real everything about scripture is real and it, and I always make that I always make you if you're new to this channel I always make this uh this comparison. You would believe in supernatural entities in terms of aliens in outer space and planets and we can see the 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 microwave of of uh, the Big Bang and then we can see light years and light years away with the stuff we have planets that are that are formed and 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 i guess theories are like hey this is how this planet works this planet literally rains diamonds okay we don't even know like our oceans okay how i everything that's down there okay um centuries and centuries of stories about ancient entities pagan gods deities and multiple religions right where do these ideas come from where are they? You think just people just like hocus pocus made it up or something? I'm sure some did, but I'm sure that a vast majority did not. And I'm sure they saw them. Okay. The Bible has the funny that the Bible has the hook, line and sinker to talk about these things from a literal antiquity perspective of origin, creation, purpose, 
um, and, and, and prophecy, where it's all headed and why things are happening. The Bible is, is, is hook, line, and sinker on all of it, okay? You have a public setting where people, whistleblowers or whatever, are coming out and saying stuff like this. And they're, I've seen it. I've seen the aircrafts. I'm here. And you got all these people. There's a whole, there's a whole room of people that are saying this. This is, this is 2023. These are not aliens. These are fallen angels who transform themselves into ministers of light. And Satan, Satan transforms his, himself into a minister of light and his, his, uh, his workers do the same. Okay. Um, they will, it's going to be such a mass deception. And why? You're like, well, this is a conspiracy theory. You just didn't believe in this conspiracy theory. And now you want to believe it. And now I'm taking you a little further. You're like, nope, I can't believe in that conspiracy theory because I don't, it, 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 it just doesn't make any sense to me. You never believed in this. And now everybody's hopping on a train of being like, oh, well, I guess aliens were, I always knew aliens are real or whatever, because it's culture. It's a culture, culture mindset. You are flocking with the culture. You're not, you're just a, um, a sheep like me being stewarded by a bad shepherd. I am a sheep, a dumb sheep though, being stewarded by a good shepherd. That's Jesus. Hear me, believer, non-believer, new to this channel. You don't care what I say. You don't like me. This is a deception. Not because they're deceiving people. They are being deceived. These are fallen angels. They are workers of iniquity. They are demon. They are demonic in terms of in terms of just like a, a category to call something. But they are angelic and and probably nature. They are fallen angels, and this is where we get pagan gods. This is where we get Nephilim, aka giants. Um, these were all these stories happen. This is this, the flood was real. Why do you think God sent the first flood? David really did kill Goliath. He was a giant. They were tall as Lebanon trees. All these, these, you know, uh, you get Anubis. I've done videos on this. Anubis and Greek gods and Norse gods and, and, and Buddhists. And they have 300 million gods. All demonic. All demonic. Angelic, celestial, and terrestrial coming together and they create an abomination. Um, and then the Book of Enoch says when, the, when they die, when these, and these demigods die, like a Hercules, right? Hercules, I love the movie Hercules from Disney. Hercules is dope, but Hercules is a demigod. He's half celestial, half terrestrial, half angelic, half man, okay? Um, and it is an abomination. And so these are, it's, it's, they're not our friends. They are not for you. They will never be for you. And I guarantee the narrative and everything that's going to happen is it's probably some human intervention where humans are working with said demons, mystical creatures, all, and I had videos on this as well um, that came out from the sun. And I forgot what video that was talking about gnomes and ghosts and spirits and legendary and mythical creatures. Because this was talk, coming out when aliens were coming, like UFO reports were coming out, I think like a year and a half ago. Uh, this is real. This is not a joke. That's why I can I can say from a, from a pure conscience, Christ is real. The Bible is real. Jesus is real. The resurrection is real. It is real. And if, if those implications, those things are real, what you should be terrified is that you do not know Christ because he is God and God is real. And if Christ's claims are true, the resurrection is true. Sorry, I'm burping here. Um, you're in danger of yourself, of your own sin, because you will, I guarantee you, you will, just like this public hearing, right? You will stand before a public hearing before God after already dying and going straight to hell. You will be resurrected, or not, not even resurrected. You'll be given a new body, another body to appear before the Lord. And then you will be sitting in front of the great white throne and you will be judged. And there's no way of getting out of this judgment and you, you're condemned. Once you go straight to hell, it's done. You get resurrected, Revelation, what, Revelation 20? Um Great right throne judgment, and then you'll be judged again. It's called the second death. You you come before the Lord like you're in a jail cell. Your sentence now is before the Lord. Great right throne judgment. Revelation 20, go look it up. Then you go straight to the lake of fire where death and Hades and everything else will be cast into. Terrifying. Hear me when I say this. Absolutely terrifying. You do not want to die in your sins. I'm telling you, it is worth every bit of your time to search the scriptures and just search Oh, uh, uh, um, archaeological digs, uh, uh, evidence for the Bible, evidence for the resurrection, um, 
oldest known manuscripts or trans or anything like that, right? Dead Sea Scrolls, these things are real. And I say that because I can literally use this as a as a launch pad into Christianity, a launch pad into religion, because you're you're like, I hate religion or whatever. No, no, you're religious. You will and you will worship aliens. You're either gonna worship God or you're gonna worship Satan. That's it. These are workers of iniquity. They they're they're satanic. It's all, it's just the triune God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, and Satan. That's it. And the a battle between good and evil. And it's not even a battle. God already wins it. This is not really a battle. It's God getting your hearts. This is a blessing. You have to understand, this is a blessing to the world that people are talking about this. The Christian can use this to literally say, well, if you can believe in aliens and you called me crazy, and I'm like, you believe in aliens? Doesn't that sound crazy? You can believe in angels. You can believe in demons. You can believe in devils. You can believe in God. You can believe in Jesus. You can believe in, what's the jump? I mean, people are literally saying I'm talking to new age beings when they go on acid trips and deal with shamans or uh, on a DMT or stuff like that. Come on, man. Hear me. This is such an important video. All these things are so important because they are they are seeds planted in a heart that can take root. And I, I'm just I'm praying because when the Great Tribulation happens, which if you don't know, it, it's a time where there will be a seven year time. It's going to be terrible on the earth. Okay. Um, you will have an antichrist. He's going to rise and you're going to look for a savior and he's going to look like he's going to save you and aliens are going to be a part of it. And I'm sure all these demonic things are going to deceive you to operate in so way, in such a way to worship the antichrist and take 666, Mark of the Beast. Where do you think you get these things? These are biblical. This is where they come. It's a biblical narrative. You're stealing from the Bible at some point to make your, your video series or your, your Netflix series or your position. It doesn't matter. These things are rooted biblically. Um, I, sorry, that was a rant because this, I can't believe we heard this and I need you to go watch this again. Okay. Now we're going to go to, uh, Infowars and I have not watched these myself. I watched that one and it's just floored, floored me when I saw it. Now we're going to watch this one. It says, uh, former Navy fighter, fighter pilot, Ryan Graves details a UAP UFO sighting and an object described as a black cube inside of a clear sphere. 15 to 15 feet in diameter. These encounters became, become so frequent that air crew would discuss the risk of UAP as a part of the regular pre, pre-flight pre briefs. During a training mission in Warning Area Whiskey 72, 10 miles off the coast of Virginia Beach, two F-18 Super Hornets were split by a UAP. The object, described as a dark gray or a black cube inside of a clear sphere, came within 50 feet of the lead aircraft and was estimated to be 5 to 15 feet in diameter. The mission commander terminated the flight immediately and returned base. Our squadron submitted a safety report, but there was no official acknowledgement of the incident and no further mechanism to report the wow. sightings. Soon, these encounters became so frequent that air crew would discuss the risk of UAP as part of their regular pre-flight briefs. No official written down because I'm sure they didn't want anybody to know. And they're so frequent that you're having to discuss with pilots about it. And you haven't told anybody for years. Come on, bro. Planned. Planned. It's, I can't release this to the public, right? I don't need you to go down government conspiracies because I'm sure probably all of them are real at some point and have a lot of truth to them and some probably just made up or some that are just like telephone, right? Some things are not true, but most of it is true. But you're purposely hiding. Purposely hiding. Why? What's the deal? Why? Why would you not? Because we can't handle it. What are you talking about? Like, I, I'm telling you that you're not gonna be able to handle the judgment of God. Like this is this is real life. <laughs> oh man. Okay, here's the next one. This is the last one that they have. Um, how do you know that these are UAPs and we're not aircraft? Former Navy air pop, uh, for, former Navy fighter, former Navy fighter pilot Ryan Greaves. These objects were staying completely stationary in a Category Four hurricane winds. The same objects would then accelerate at supersonic speeds. Nuts. How do you know that these were not our aircraft? Some of the behaviors that we saw in a working area, we would see these objects uh, being at 0.0, .0 Mach, that's zero airspeed, over certain pieces of the ground. So what that means, just like a river, if you throw a bobber in, it's gonna float downstream. These objects were sitting completely stationary in category four hurricane winds. These same objects would then accelerate to supersonic speeds, 1.1, 1.2 Mach, uh, and they would do so in very erratic and, and quick behaviors that we don't, I don't have an explanation for. <laughs> come on man like it's i mean come on i know the whole alien world is like man i told you and i'm like dude ma'am sir colt 
you are being deceived. All those things are very real, but the idea of what they represent and who they actually are and what they are, oh my gosh. I, 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 all the thoughts in my mind go to like, what if human beings want to start having sex with aliens? What if aliens just start showing up all over the place? Reptilians and greys and all this stuff like that. Would you just, what do you have again? An intermingling of an abomination, celestial and terrestrial coming together, right? Worshiping them, right? You're our gods, right? We are made to worship. It's so, it's so true that we, we, idol worship is so easy for us. We are made to worship and we actually love it. Funny enough, we love to worship. If it's not ourselves, it's something else. You will worship these angels, fallen angels. And it's fallen angels just means they fell from heaven. It's not like they're like, you have a class of angel and then fallen angel. No, it's just an angel that fell. It's an angel. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. Anyways, guys, I'm going to stop the video. I'm done ranting. Like the video if you like it. If you want to see more, come back. Um... If you don't know the gospel, it's 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Uh, you are saved by grace through faith in Christ. That's Ephesians 2, 8, and 9. Not of yourselves. You cannot work for salvation. If you do, you're going to be, yeah, it's a one way ticket to hell. Um, uh, Christ has already paid for everything on the cross. Every sin, past, present, and future has been paid by his precious blood. He was real, came in flesh. He's God in flesh. That's how I know because he died and he is God because he resurrected. He resurrected himself. He has deity. He's always been God, God, the father, God, the son, God, the Holy Spirit. And once he comes out of that grave, that means it's finished because he is the only one that could come out of that grave because he never sinned in the first place. And so by that, by that fruit, we get resurrection, which is amazing. If he, if he had sinned, he would have never come out of that grave and we would still be in our sins and Christianity would not be true. You got to disprove the resurrection for that. Uh, if you want to be saved, you got you got to know Christ in your heart. You have to come to that revelation that you're a sinner and you're in need of a savior and he can save you. It's Romans 10, 9 through 10. If you confess with your mouth that Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For by believing in your heart, one is justified and by confession unto salvation. Um, John 3, 16 through 20. Love you guys. Subscribe. It helps the channel. Drop me a comment or like whatever your thoughts are. I really appreciate it. God bless. I'll see you in the next one.